Alright guys, so welcome back to the channel. Yesterday we did back, today it's shoulders, uh, had a refeed and we're 12 weeks, 12 weeks out. Yeah. So Maria and I is gonna do shoulders together today and it's gonna be a good workout. We're gonna, we actually did use uh, the Elite today. It's uh, only for the pump, so no steam. steam. Today is actually, we're hearing rumors that we're gonna have to close, so we're taking advantage. Today is the last day we're gonna be able to work out here. So we are gonna share these last workout with you guys. So we hope you like it. Let's go. Okay, so the reason why we start with, uh, I'm gonna start with the external rotation. So simply we use a uh, cable for constant tension. So we basically keep our elbow in and we just pull out. So the reason why we do this is just to keep that shoulder health up to par. Like we just keep up with it. So you actually train for longevity and not just because you wanna train. Um, and then we do internal rotation. So same thing, keep your elbow close to you and pull in. My strongest actually my strongest is shoulders it's actually my favorite all the time body part to train but yeah even like because as a figure on stage it's like one of like the nicest like muscle to to show like shoulders are really important for yeah shape of figure body you guys saw, we are focusing a lot on controlling our shoulders and when you're doing tricep workouts, ensure that your, your, your shoulders are not going up and down, whether it's push downs or things like this, because you wanna avoid uh, using your traps and just isolate for that back of the arm uh, tricep workout. So you actually engage in the right muscles and you're not causing more tension, tension around your neck area. Okay, so when we're talking about shoulders for bikini, uh, they're not looking for two capped shoulders, but more like certain level of roundness. So when you hit your front pose, you see a lot of dimension and proportion between your upper body and that hourglass shape to you. So your shoulders being round does help you with entire proportions and overall shape. Okay, so importance for uh, shoulders for figure, it's really create that X frame. Basically, when we're posing, it's good to have a good like round shoulder cap to really like create that V uh, taper and shape. Also on your uh, back pose, but also your side pose, which is like a huge aspect of your physique in figure. Okay guys, so another thing that will be a lot of, uh, very useful for shoulder training in general, sometimes we forget to engage our hip area. So when you're, you wanna stabilize your entire body, your glutes are gonna stabilize your hips. So when you're doing a shoulder workout and you tend to swing or arch your back to compensate for that lift, make sure you're engaging and stabilizing the hip to, uh, in your core as well to make sure you're protecting your lower body. Oh, sorry, your lower back. So engaging your glutes, getting an aligned, an aligned spine, neutral spine, and doing this will actually make sure that you're isolating your shoulders and not just going with the motion of your entire body. Little tip for you. Lateral raise, uh, we're doing the seated one. I 
uh, I personally love this one just by the feel of it. We don't, I don't, I've never saw this one anywhere else than here. <laughs> All right, the whole purpose of putting your forehead <laughs> on the bench, yeah, it's because we want to stabilize the neck and just the spine overall. So by putting the, your head here, it would also um, avoid from you actually adding momentum with your body because you want to isolate the back of your shoulder as well as keep more control of your scapulas. So neutral spine and you have more control over your neck and neutral spine position. Our shoulder work workout was a really good workout. The pump is there, and this was our last workout here. So, in the next uh, episode, we're gonna try to show you as a competitor what we do um, to keep like um, prepping, training during this period with, without the gym. So, and if you have some idea you want to see on the YouTube, you can also comment some ideas. And remember, stay motivated. Don't get let down about what's happening. This too shall pass and something good will come out of it. Just stay strong and adhere to your goals and what you want for yourself. See you guys in the next one. See ya. Bye.